Afternoon, everyone. No respawns here. So I've been thinking quite a lot while playing For Honor Ain't to the fact where I actually made a Reddit thread about it the other day, and a different one has appeared recently that kind of prompted me on making this video, was the fact is that in the current state of the game, ledges and just any kind of environment hazard and kind of environment kills are currently, I would argue, a too integral part of the especially dueling dynamic it's not really too much of a problem in maybe kind of dominion and kind of larger scale pvp because of the fact the maps are obviously a lot larger but specifically looking at duels here and we've got a situation where pretty much every other round if not sometimes even possibly even more you've you have a really really small combat area with loads of insta death places you can fall off for the most part but there are also for example spikes you can be thrown on now this is not to say no, I did, when I made my reddit thread the other day people I think assumed well two things one that I was somehow getting killed from these things all the time which I did make clear in the in the end in the subject that I wasn't a problem for me it was just kind of a default state of mind um, but also the fact that it's not saying that I dislike and think these parts should be removed now initially what I suggested was that there should be just more maps with no ledges or at least a larger combat area or perhaps the ability to just only play on the maps like just filter them in some way because it's getting to the point now i remember when i was playing with my friend the other day where we really kind of stood out to us we whenever we play a game right now say a lot of them take place i never know the map names but a lot of them take place on bridges or on the side of cliffs or, you know, on castle walls with pits, that kind of thing. And I realised it does make up most of the maps. And what ends up happening, for the most part, is people are quite courteous to each other. And what we'll end up doing is we both will just subconsciously run off to the one area of the map that doesn't have that insta-death option there. Now, the reason being, is, as um, someone mentioned in the Reddit thread I, met, um, I posted the other day, was that it just becomes too much of a hassle. In the current state of guard break, even if you're good at countering them, you're just going to end up being spamming guard break together. And the second someone basically completes it, you can just hold the person off. Especially, you know, somebody mentioned, and I agree, that I'd love to have a duel on a rickety bridge. There are some amazing maps where you know, you've got these tiny, thin bridges, you know, very little room to manoeuvre. And it's not saying that that wouldn't be fun. Maybe being forced in a situation where it would be you'd be on them, maybe it's harder to actually throw them particularly off. But we're in a situation right now where it, it's just too much hassle. It, it's not fun. You, it's it's weird, it's weird, weird. Because I think, especially with given this as a PvP game, you know, most most of the replies were quite reasonable. A couple of people saying, oh, stop cry, being a crybaby, all that bullshit. And it's like, well, no, because it's an imbalance issue, in, in essence. And I'm not saying, by the way, that I feel that, you know, some classes kind of... Some people suggested, actually, that some classes rely on this mode of play, which I don't think is true at all. You know, obviously, the Raider is an obvious choice. I like playing the Warlord, and they're particularly good at throwing people. But neither classes actually rely on this form of play. It's just we're good at it. And it's not to say that it shouldn't be a a part of the game, because I think it should be something that's quite fun. You know, something that, you know, when you finally... On the bigger maps, for example, I was playing... Um, what was that one? The one with the... Uh, I can't remember the name, the On Fire Village, with the car, and then you've got the, you know, the Lakes of Fire. You've got a pretty decent, not very big, you have to basically always fight on the back of the car, and the kind of the back of the map. But I was playing with my friend the other day, wasn't paying attention, ended up backing away from, because that's kind of what I do, counter back away, and I ended up getting charged into the fire. He just said he couldn't resist, which is fair enough. But we do have situations now where you just, by default, the, the default state of mind within the game is you worrying, being conscious of being insta-killed by a ledge or an environment kill. Now again, it's not to say that I, this isn't really even a major issue for me, because like a lot of you, um, I have changed my play to just compensate for this. For example, because I'm, I'm pretty, I've mentioned this before, I'm pretty fucking diabolical at countering guard breaks. What I tend to do is I just tend to not be within reach of a guard break even as a warrior it's quite a decent tactic to play i just you know back off quite a lot until i'm ready to get them to attack me and i tend to kind of dodge them more than anything and when i do get in a situation where i might be guard breaked it's not near a ledge at all so i just kind of i change my play to compensate for the fact that you know it's it's just quite a kind of cheese move in a lot of ways but also i'm um, for the because i'm i've mentioned this before how i think that 
for the most part, the community for the For Honor is amazing, like significantly nicer and more, you know, just friendlier and just kind of more fair play, I guess, um, compared to other games, especially competitive PvP games that I played. Um, to the point where, you know, when one of us would knock each other off a ledge, you know, insta-kill the other person, we would apologise profusely. You know, I'm so sorry, oh god, what did I do? I felt awful, because it, you know, is considered cheese play. And, you know, there are those obviously people on the opposite side who just kind of make it their thing. And I just think in, in the current state of the game, we need to, it needs to be changed. Now, I had a, a few ideas after the Reddit thread, kind of reading people's uh, responses. And also there was a thread that someone else just mentioned today on the kind of main for on a subreddit. Now, the, what I thought might do is if you look at the dueling maps, they are actually just the main maps from large scale PvP, but with debris blocking off the entrances or, you know, gates closed. Just things to basically cordon you into a certain area. So rather than just redesigning new maps, it wouldn't be unreasonable or difficult for them to do, for example, you know, just fix the wall. You know, where you've got a piece of wall broken away, just fix it um, for the map. Or, you know, put a bit of debris in the way so you can't fall down. Or just limit the point of insta-death, shall we say, so there are less areas where you can fall down. And again, this isn't so much to, for the sake of me going, oh, I just dislike getting, you know environment killed it's more just a case of a balance issue is the way i look at, like to look at it it's too much right now now i want to focus on parrying and dodging and kind of outplaying the other person not just either one of us kind of minute just basically getting a lucky throat and just hurling them off the edge um now on the reddit thread which is an interesting idea what they suggested is um especially for you know character like the raider or you know the wall when they're charging or anyone who has the ability to kind of knock into someone and kind of send them flying, uh, was the idea that if you miss, you should also be able to, you know, fall off yourself. So, for example, you know, if the, I've, I didn't realise this until, you know, kind of quite a few hours in the game, that unless you're actually knocked off, you can't actually run off ledges. And I've tried jumping off them as well. Maybe it might be mid-move, but to my knowledge, I don't believe unless someone actively hits you off, you can't fall off a ledge. Which means if I'm a raider running full power up person and they sidestep, if I hit the ledge, I just kind of roll into it and I don't fall off and this person suggested rightly so there should be a bit more of a punishment if you fuck up so if I charge you and that person sidesteps and I just go I, I should just careen straight off the ledge or into the spikes or whatever kind of environment kill there are um, alongside those first suggestions of maybe you know just kind of bordering up a few of the ledges and kind of making it so you can fall off I would rather it less insta kill environment now what I mean by that is I actually really like the map with the fire on it because, um, to be honest, when you get thrown in the fire, you get kind of take the damage of, say, taking a combo. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's potentially take a quarter of your health away, but it's not going to be an insta-kill. And it won't necessarily be the game-changer of the map. Same with that, uh, that logging cabin, or whatever it's, um, the one for forestry, where, where you've got that giant spinning blade. It doesn't insta-kill you. I thought it would. Uh, I was actually disappointed. I thought it would sever arms or something like that. It just kind of, you know, nicks you a little bit. Well, more than a little bit. But yeah, just maybe the idea of making it so, obviously you can't have ledges not insta-kill people, but you know, more just for future maps down the line, maybe less insta-kill, more just damaging. Let me know what you guys think. Again, kind of try and keep it a broad open mind here, because um, as, not for many, but when I did put the Reddit thread, it was just a lot of people just going, oh, you're just getting salty. It's like, no, 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 no. This is a balance issue, you know. Realistically, an environment kill should be a rare-ish or hard-to-do thing, not basically the default state of half if not more of the entire matches you play you know because it's just it's not it's just it's unbalanced in a lot of ways but i know how obviously with the pvp game it's, it's fucking salty motherfuckers <laughs> people get all upset and it's all very bollocks so try let's keep it civil yeah but let me know what you think um i said i'm in the camp of just this needs to be addressed in some way because currently right now for a game that for a game where, especially you go on the comp competitive side, you know, we're obsessing over, you know, fates and, you know, what best attacks to follow up with a feint, exactly how to parry and the perfect timing, and all of these variously, wonderfully, perfectly, I like balanced attacks, and then just to kind of throw it all away for half of the matches and be like, fuck, 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 fuck the ledge to the point where you would willingly eat a sword or throw yourself in harm's way to not fall to your death. It's also not realistic from a kind of, you know, Obviously, the game's not massively realistic, but, you know, how many people 
have an epic sword battle within an incredibly high, you know, on a, on the edge of a mountain, you know, most of them take place in the middle of battlefields, you know, or inside castles, in the courtyard, not on the the tower that just happens to have every single freaking fence part, whatever they're called, battlement part crumbled away, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, or it just, yeah, it just, it, because I duel a lot, it's kind of the main thing I do, it really stands out to me, the point is just, you know, it's, it's a default state of mind for me, anyway, yeah, let me know what you think, I hope you guys found this interesting. I'm just trying to get these discursive videos out of the way because I do enjoy... There are lots of theory with games like For Honor, you know, speaking about balance, you know, what the current meta is, that kind of thing that I want to do uh, quite a lot, as well as news and kind of guides and all that jazz. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no NoRespawns. Uh, the next video will be a Fallout video. That's going to be on Sunday because I've got a wee, uh, wee birthday party on, uh, on the Saturday, which is going to be fun actually leaving the house. Holy shit. Until then... You guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.